Hello and welcome everyone to part two of my let's play of Skylight Free Range Gactuin. Uh, we just got through the tutorial last time I played. We're gonna give it about, I'm gonna try to play for an hour tonight. Try to get a good hour in. Uh, I apologize, my voice is still kind of kind of messed up there and uh, I got a haircut so I look a little different. But let's, without further ado, Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just loading the most current game. I apologize that we're at that stupid PlayStation screen. Okay, here we are. And then, like I've said before, I apologize for the camera. It's awful. And you seriously, like, running into stuff in this game is freaking annoying because you completely stop and you have to turn around. You can't just walk along it. Okay, let's go. Satisfied with the party I got set up right here. This guy's at his computer. Right. Man. Oh man. I love how you just traipse in. Okay, let me see that. Okay, two years from too tired for somebody at field testing team. She says, Now oh, you're shitty back towards you with the boss. God, I hate you all. Okay, man. Well, maybe I talk to him. I'm just gonna leave. Okay, still in the building. Receptionist, that's a cool, that's a cool desk for a receptionist to have. Not very realistic. Here's to be field testing team, correct? Welcome, welcome. I will see you later. I'm outside for the first time. Social situations, Pond's apartment is located in this complex here in Yarmouth. Additional story sequences can be accessed through regularly returning here and contacting your friends. An exclamation point indicator will appear in the apartment's contact friends choice in, uh, in, in the friends submenu in the field menu. Okay, I saw that. It wasn't selectable earlier, but now will. Tutorial end. At this point, you can do whatever you choose in Skylight Free Range 2, Gokhtuin, and except have fun. Uh, whether it be the main quest, side quest, exploring, dungeon crawling, or social situations, have fun. Alright, let's have some fun. Man, I think... Uh, the pyro? Is she the pyro in the party? She's 50 HP, that's nothing. What's this say? Why mommy, why won't you feed me? Oh man. There's too much text on these signs, I'm not gonna read that all. In elementary school. Let's go. It's locked. I'm gonna go out here. I don't. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna explore the world. This is what this is actually. This takes place in Canada. This is actually what Canada looks like. So I've been there. This is what it looks like. It's just a little forest here and there. Okay. I'm just locked. Okay. I'm guessing it's like. It's probably the exit to a dungeon or something. Okay, let's let's go to here. It's random square building. There's no, you can't go any faster than this. He looks like he's he's hitting a pretty good stride, but not going very fast. All right. I apologize. I've got to get to the menu and save real quick. Do, do, do. You'll see that blue screen, that great blue screen. I apologize. All right, it's locked. Every door I've been to is locked. You can do anything. You can do anything. Subway. Since it's not underground, I think I'm going to get myself a sandwich. Okay, so... It's around where I started. I didn't check these other buildings out. I should just check the friends. Craig Waller, Rory Morrison. So I can't select them? It's not letting me select them? I have to select them in the apartment, I guess? Cutscene. Mom, Justin, Julia, what are you doing here? My homework, it's too hard. Dad won't help me either. It's not hard, you know. I could do it and I'm younger than you. 
It's too hard. Last year they said that the uh, premier was the one in charge of Nova Scotia, and I got it right. Now they're saying that Calvin Traven is the one in charge of Nova Scotia, and when I tell them he's not, I get sent to the principal's office. So write down Calvin Traven. It's not hard to do that, but it's not right. They keep changing the answer, and I can't, and I, and I get in trouble when I say so. Ugh. It was things like that that made me sign up with our group. The court can't just edit and remove whatever it wants from the real world. Let's look into this, Prawn. Need to know. Investigate the storage of wisdom in Yarmouth. Okay, let's do that. That's the first quest I've got. Where is the storage of wisdom? Green to subway. Let me check this. Building over here. Thank you for watching, my viewers. Read <laughs> in case you don't know what to expect with this game at the bottom. I'm gonna have it right for you. Welcome to Bad Game. It's not looking too good. That's a real that character portrait at the top's a real problem. I can't. It's very hard to read. This, this is just somebody's house. I'm gonna leave. How was those? How was the house of those kids we were just talking to? So I guess I can only guess that that it's in Lunenburg. I'm gonna head there since I'm in Yarmouth right now. So make sure my orientation. Yep, Let's head this way. <sighs> I mean, I, I don't expect to, but I really hope there's some type of faster travel, maybe some vehicle or something, or fast travel. I mean, I, like I said, I don't expect it, but this is really slow. <laughs> They're coming. Just gonna make sure my orientation's all good. No, I gotta get around this. Yeah, water. It's water. It's not very deep water. Looks like a thin. Like a centimeter of water there, I don't know, just a picture of water on top of the grass. I can't walk on it. He doesn't want to get his shoes wet. So that's... That's Lindenberg. Okay. And over the old Lindenberg. I mean, I, I want to play through this game. I know I said I'm going to play through it, but man, this is painful. This travel speed is killing me. So, maybe the subway is the fast travel. I just, I'm stupid. I probably should have tried it. I don't know. I guess it's kind of cool to see through the map, I guess. There's nothing. Oh, man. So, that must be it. Aldorf, you need to pay very close attention to what I'm trying to tell you. Your parents need to hear it too. Oh, come on, Miss North, my parents don't need to hear about that. No, Aldorf, I'm talking about the time your parents were out and you were walking around your house naked with Mega Mammary Mayhem playing on the big screen. Jesus Christ, why don't, why don't you tell the whole world? I have the footage. It's already online. Oh, God. Sounds extremely creepy. Get help. <laughs> so they all say that they'll be thankful for me when I uncover something to protect this town. I'm Rita North, faithful watchdog of Lunenburg. Some creepy men came from the north of town muttering something about Halifax. If you see them, run inside. Don't come out and call the police. Tell your parents too. New quest Fringe. 
Let's get the company building again. First, I'm going to continue with the quest I was doing, which I'm guessing that is the quest marker. I hope that's a quest marker. I'm going to save real quick. Apologize for the PlayStation screen. Okay. Hopefully, I'm going to get some action. Nope. I guess I'm going just to Aldorf's house. Hello, oh, Aldorf, my sweetheart. You're okay. I was so hurt when we heard, when we heard your classroom was attacked by those monsters. Mom, Dad, Tony, and BJ. They didn't make it. They were killed by the... They were killed by in the skirmish. Oh, Al, I'm so sorry. This is my face. This is the guy who helped me stay alive when the Ciani dudes attacked. I wouldn't... I don't know. There's something about the name Ciani dudes. It just seems like too friendly for people who just killed his friends. Wouldn't be alive if he didn't show up. Thank you. We're eternally grateful to you for keeping our son safe. Yes, please. If you need anything, please let us know. We are so thankful for you. You know, more than anything, I want to just stay at home and stay out of this. I can't turn against the cold or else they'll go after my family. But my friends did nothing wrong and they're still gunned down for getting in the way of some sand dream. What do you think I should do? Side with us. Yep. So I'm leaning towards, but... Still haven't completely convinced myself, so Lindenberg signing with Cole, are they? Of course, ooh, shit. I'm gonna have to fight these people. Of course, I mean, look out there to Halifax. This town's gonna be bending to the Colts' will in no time. Yeah, but when, when those bomb guys are here, it's obviously a battle. This whole town's gonna get down on its knees, open wide, and when the Colts is gone, I'll see we burn it all down. Don't let any more of that fucking Colt virus spread further. The San Duane. Alright, straight in. Sidestep, sidestep. I'm gonna get these bomb guys first. Shit. There we go. Wow. Gotta get those guys out of the way. Those guys will annihilate your party, okay? I just had a character die. That sucks. No, it seems to be the last of the sea anyway. We couldn't find any more either. We're just waiting on Lucia and Miranda to finish searching their areas. Man, that was rough. A Junior? These dickwads coming to your home trying to destroy it. Were they really going to do it because of how close it was to Halifax? Yeah. I know I want to work alongside with you guys now. I have no doubts about that anymore. The Colts and doing it, they'll hurt anyone regardless of involvement. I'm not going to let anyone hurt my family the way my friends were hurt. Why did the Anduin come about anyways? Was it in response to the Colts' control over everything? That's what they claim, but it doesn't matter if people... With so violent and selfish disposition, we'll use anything to excuse, for an excuse to attack. I saw it in Manitoba when the NDC started a civil war. They claimed it was to live free, but it had nothing to do with ideals. It had to do with living without consequences. San Duane aren't much different from the NDC, using symbiote monsters to attack the populace in the false name of a higher cause. And there's always suffering from groups like that. Are you alright, sir? Not to worry, the San Duane all been removed from this town. Is that so? Oh, is he missing an arm? Uh, is that so? Well, thank you for that. I was just coming to help, actually. Help? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a member of the Sentinels. My name's Bradley Farrelly. Nice to meet you. I was gonna help. And Rory's over there, too. You friends with him? He's part of your group? Rory's friends with you? The group? What do you mean? Please. Don't think me naive. Rory has been my best friend since we were kids. I know he's up to something. He always is. He had some reason for moving to Nova Scotia. Even after he was outed by the Sentinels, he still goes around trying to make the world a better place however he can. Outed? You mean resigned? Ah, uh, I apologize, you're right. I worded that poorly. Thank you for taking care of those Sanduin. He does have one arm. He lied to me. Lucia, you don't know that. I don't even know this man knows Rory. Rory came from Manitoba originally, right? He hadn't been in Nova Scotia until after he left the Sentinels. No. Rory talked about his best friend Bradley to me all the time. He said that he lost an arm due to an NDC chainsaw when they were Sentinels in the Civil War. Rory lied to me, Miranda. Resigning from the Sentinels? I thought they were close to each other. He can't tell me? Oh, Rory, you're deep. What the fuck is he hiding? What did he do? So what's our next mission? Rory's got some dirt. Oh, he's right there. 
When Lucian Miranda come back, we'll head for the Spectre facility in Halifax. The cult uses Spectres for infiltration purposes, so shutting it down would be useful at any point. In Halifax, do they actually make some bat monsters right on city grounds? Of course they do. They're hypocrites. Go around saying making humans and the monsters using the skylights and bio evil. But when they do it, it's for the good of the country. Every symbiote monster is a volunteer and has a purpose for the greater good. Quest added threats to dismantle the cult spectre facility in Halifax. Quest completed. Confirmation. 800 experience. That's another level. And I have not distributed my points. I just have two now, and I'm almost at three. 30 competency experience to level three. Or let's allocate my competencies to. Oh, main character. Uh, I'm just gonna get a description. Okay. Boost attack 25% or less. 25% or less. Okay, what is it? So just boost some more. What the fuck is it? Boost people to 25 or something. I'm gonna get a standard attack. And. HP, I'm gonna get more HP. So two competency points. Craig. Craig's the tank. So I'm gonna use shotgun damage up. Because he uses shotgun a lot. And where's his HP? Oh, there's a physical defense. I'm gonna get HP first though. 50 is pretty good. Sure is now back at full health. That's cool. Uh, Erica. Just gotta check once again what. Erica, assault rifle. Class. Golem summoner. That's right. I'm gonna try to use her competency points to increase. The Golem Marie. Golem Marie. Golem power plus 100%. Yes. Summon Golem uses plus one. Ooh. Summon Golems plus one. Gotta get it. I did not summon any Golems in that last battle, but I'm sure it's useful. Lucia, you're the last. Okay, I want her to be my flame damage character, so I'm gonna keep using the flamethrower with her. Increase the flame. And just offense. Ooh, attack plus 10. Oh shit. Alright. Make sure everybody's equipped. Uh, point there. Assault rifle. Shotgun. And pistols. Okay. you can get rid of the portraits at the top. I mean, maybe you can. Maybe I haven't looked enough. Yeah, no, you probably can't. Oh, it's raining. It's just a sudden downpour. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Halifax, next. Should we go to Halifax? So, yeah, maybe I will. One thing that's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, of a bummer about this game is there's no real random battles it seems. There's Rita. Wow, oh, how do you even read what they say inside a house? I can't move my camera anymore. I guess. There we go. Okay. She has nothing. She has nothing. Nothing I need. She's useless. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to do, I'm going to try this dungeon. I want to do just a random dungeon, but they seem to be all locked. That's kind of dumb. You know what, Lucia, I definitely should have raised her HP. I don't know what I was thinking. She only has 50. Oh, the trees. Look at that. I mean, it's windy. Okay. Bradley, 
Oh, this is Bradley's house. Can I finish the story? Please tell me I said hello if you see him. Yeah. Okay, well that was a waste of time. Thanks. Please don't be locked. God dang it. Oh gosh, this is so annoying. That's for Abby's house. I'm just gonna go to the next. This game's really, really hard to get into. I spent 15 bucks on this game. I'm gonna check. This is the town. This is Lunenburg. I'm gonna check that. See if that's a dungeon. I'm going in the right direction, correct? Yep. I'm gonna check that little area. Hopefully, it's a dungeon I can go into. Unless every single dungeon requires a quest to enter. Hopefully, not. It looks like that's a bridge leading to an island with a little, little hatch. I'm going to try that hatch see if I can go in there. It's probably going to be locked like everything else, but let me try. That's the bridge. Yep, that looks like a bridge, all right. I don't know what type of bridge, but I don't have a bridge. It's a cool-looking bridge. I'm in a dungeon. Auto save full. Auto save. But what is there to do in here? Okay. Says. So oh shit. That's a lot. I'm gonna die. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. My golem. I didn't even summon any golems. They had cha they had chainsaws. Okay, I don't know how to revive. There's no items in this game. Maybe if I leave and come back I can I get she's alive? No? No? Okay. Just leave. Just click this for the auto save. They're all back alive, but why? Well, I guess this would be a place I could grind. So I got a competency level. I, I, I'm gonna. I can't learn competencies in battle. Just summon to. Let me see if I can. Just a good one. Got a green lamp. Lamp post for revive. Oh, okay. Green lamp post is auto save. Party member change, but naturally. Symbio cloud. And a golem. Yeah, not doing that outside of battle does not pay off. There's sand doing there. I do have the golem now. Let's see if I can take these sand doing off. Shoot. Get the golem. I need to get the golem out there. Oh god. Oh, she's getting shot. Is that her with the assault rifle? Is just lighting her up. Okay, we got an indestructible over here. A golem. Got another indestructible. Got him. 
Oh, 720. I have no idea how to do that much damage, but I'm down. I'm interested. Competencies. I'm out of battle. Okay, for my main character, I'm gonna go with defense. Physical defense. Light him up. Gotta light him up. Craig. Wait, what, what should I increase Craig on? I think he is the tank. I got his health up. I'm gonna do another physical defense. I'll do a little defense next. Yeah, best defense is a good offense, but the last two competency points were spent on offense for almost everybody. So, plus five HP. Okay. Wait, does she not have defense? Or am I missing it? Yeah, I guess not. Team is teamwork, too. Shot team physical defense plus two. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty good. All right, and I'm guessing her HP is probably <laughs> doesn't exist. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. You're right. Okay, so she doesn't even have. I use a flamethrower, I'm gonna increase I'm gonna increase the flamethrower damage. Actually no, I'm gonna increase the attack. It's ten percent with forty-two attack. It's definitely less than this is four point two, so attack plus ten Two vacuum cleaners over here. Take them out. Let's see if I get a shot off the door. Nope. Got him. Okay, if I can get, if I can kill this guy before he. Nope. Oh, he's gonna be careful. Those things are gonna freaking. So I can I can backshot these guys. Pop pop. I was actually a good amount of. Ooh, yep, these guys too. I don't know if I can kill them. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Character's gonna use his knuckles now. Look at that. Look at that. That's a stance. Look at that stance. He's ready to fight. Look at those knuckles. It's just a block. It's just a, it's just a great block. He's ready to punch. Okay. It's around the corner. Uh oh. He's gotta get back attack. I'm gonna save real quick. I apologize for the blue screen once again. It's, it's gonna come up every time you save. Okay. Hopefully they don't see me. Okay, they didn't. I don't know if it's indestructible. It's facing it is, so I can't get the back attack to move. Damn it. Survive this battle. This is not good. Posture. Yep, they're all dead. Okay, so Lucia's down. She was. She did the most damage too. That sucks. Oh man. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. If you're really close and they're using Oh dual wheel and sledgehammers. God, that'd be so freaking heavy. 
Oh, I don't think that's good for someone to use melee. I don't know how to freaking... So I I don't have an engineer. I really needed an engineer. I should have had one because they can refill your ammo. Crap. Yeah, I do not... Oh, that was a bad idea. Craig's getting annihilated right now. Holy freaking crap. Oh, we're dead. That's a wipe. No run. Can you run from battles? No. No. Don't. What a menacing game over screen. Yeah, bloody game over. Gosh. <sighs> Welcome to Diminishing Returns, a stream about returns. Well, I'm glad I saved. I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna actually grind the first area a bit. Get some levels. That even matters. The competencies actually matter. I don't know. But I need to buy new weapons too, because I need more than. I don't know how to buy weapons. I don't know how to get ammo. That's. I mean, the tutorial was really. It was really poor. I mean, it explained enough about weaknesses, but besides an engineer, I don't know how you can replenish ammo besides maybe leaving the dungeon, going to the world map. Oh, man. Okay, so everybody's full. Assault rifle back and flamethrower equipped. Alright, let's do an auto save real quick. Let's get some grinding in. Flamethrowers, chainsaws, whatever. Oh, we're killing them. One, one, one. That's shitty. Ah, oh, she got annihilated. Why did Lucia pull out her knife? I'll clip my fist because maybe I can kill my fist. Nope, that was a bad idea. Pump 
Slots. Physical defense, evade, move, reaction. Reaction. Does that increase my speed of attack? That's my guess. I go to elemental defense. Increase my attack to an elemental defense. Then rather. Physical defense. Okay, just a bit of money there. Cloud, then a golem. Symbiote Cloud. I should thought I could summon two golems. Oh, it's because there's a golem in this. Okay, there we go. Go golems. Oh, my golems are wrecking. Four fifty. Oh shoot. Oh, Blue's is gone. Freaking powerful. Okay, I'm gonna wait on this guy so I can shoot that. Okay, get back shot. Come on. Well, I got two, but that's all I can do. So I'm out of ammo. Golems can tank damage like nobody's business. I wanna, I think it's, so I'm gonna save here, I think that's where I died last time. Okay, so, can I send my... I wish I could control the golems. I probably can, I just don't know how. I just hope I don't die of flamethrower, damn. Old CP up, but, uh. Ooh. I don't think. Man, this is not good. Shoot. Well, everybody's... I don't know how we're going to survive this. These guys will explode. We don't have any ranged attacks. Ah, oh, they need to get out of there. They're going to die. They're all going to explode. Save again. 
Fight this guy. And his camera angles are award winning. A manipulator. Manipulating the Phantom. This Phantom's probably gonna run at me and try to fuck me. Dead. Nice, I got through. Okay, this might be a boss room? I don't know, the music changed. I want my golem to tank this hit. It's gonna explode. Okay, the other guy's dead. I guess all I can hope is that, yeah, that golem's gonna wreck him. There's two. Nice. So I did it. Flame Saber received Phantom Doomsday's Vihander. System Shock Lyric Buster. $8,000. Retrieval section of the weapons menu. In order to access the retrieval section, select an empty slot in the weapons menu. This is freaking. That's awesome. That is a lot of shit. Yeah, so you just touch the pull this. Restore everything. Nice. So I cleared a dungeon. And I gained a couple competency points while I was in there. Before I start raising my pistol damage, you're gonna see what uh character class. At competency level 100. Holy fuck. If you're standing next to an ally who is an assault rifle, the ally will gain 100% damage. Okay, that, that works because air case is an assault rifle. Let's see what weapons I got. Oh, shop. You can shop anywhere. Can you buy ammo? Okay. Retrieval. Flame saber. It's an ammo. It's a rare flame thrower. Elemental defense down, that's not good. The Phantom, rare rocket launcher. Base ammo 2, base range unlimited. Affects very large damage to an area, very loud. It damages both allies and enemies. Doomsday. I'm worried about the Phantom, I don't want my characters using it. Killing me would be a good AI. System shock, great game. We're chainsaw. Alright. have some pretty bad bonuses though too. The elemental defense minus 20% that sucks. Okay. I'm gonna get the rocket launcher so I have control over it I guess. Craig you need to get something better than what you have. Well he does use a shotgun. Give you the 
flame saver. I'm gonna give him that lava blush herb, yeah. I'm gonna shop for a glacier. Want him to have a glacier just in case. That cryo damage. So rifle sledgehammers and I think you need a Jupiter. And flank our combat knife. I'm gonna give you He's not Ander, he's pretty Can I just wait and call him closer? I don't know if that's any better though. It might be better to just. I think. Elemental oh, defense, I'm not liking. So. I'm not going to quit it. Give. Current rifle. But all my characters automatically run up to enemies, which I'm worried about it. Since he's a flamethrower, I'm just gonna buy flamethrowers because he's my fire damage dealer. And if they each get 5 ammo, it's 15. It should be good. It's just a theory, though. I don't know if you get more ammo. That depends. Let me check this out. Base ammo is 20. Yeah, maybe I don't. I don't know. We'll find out. <sighs> well, I got one dungeon. Oak Island Dungeon Down. It's a real place. The Oak Island Dungeons in Canada. real. Bleeding lips. This, this isn't where I came from, right? This is where I need to go, rather. Yep, that's Halifax. Good old Halifax. Probably start this soon. I was on set foot on the ground. Should I save? Yes, I probably should. I hate that it has to go to that PlayStation screen when you save. Okay. Yep, cutscene. Please, people. He has some big hands. Everybody has big hands in this game. She here, the director at the major studio is screening candidates for a live Pro Cold commercial. Live? That sounds risky. What if I screw up my lines? The whole Maritimes will see and not forget how I screw up. Screw it up for Trevor. Traven. But if you get it right, you could be the next big hit. Traven will probably reward you with so much. A live Pro Cold commercial. Hey, maybe we ought to check it out. You know, I have connections with that studio. Maybe I can get in. She is famous. Let's see what's going on. Cult classic. Head to the cult studio. Film. And commercial. Let's go. Let us go. Alright, I guess I'm just. I guess this is the studio with the movie looking posters. I can't tell from the map. Yep, 
chimney. Director Iyer, I quite eat her, but what do you need? Your mother isn't here right now, but I'll, 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 my friend here, Pullman, wants to audition, audition for a live commercial. Ah, oh, but of course, I can see this shining Adonis, a towering manifestation of virility. This is exactly what the cult requires to symbol. He must be the star. Wait, so Prawn didn't need to audition? No, of course not. He already got it, got the right away. No, he's gonna be perfect for the role. Start immediately. Ah, he's perfect. This is begging to be sabotaged. I can see all sorts of crazy shit and make the cold look bad. Oh, I'm gonna be able to fuck it up. I don't have any love for the studio or the hypocrites in it, so say whatever you want. But talking against them might get the cold after us. I don't care. Alright, this is it. Just speak from your heart how the cult of the symbiote truly deeply impacted you with a passionate stirring in your soul. Are you ready? This is the commercial. They're just gonna let him improvise in front of a camera, in front of a brick wall. I'm ready, Freddy. Let's do it. That's rather sexist. But I'll let it go this time. It's so stupid. Ready? Action. Please, tell us who you are. I'm Prawn Dama, that's my character's name. Proud Canadian citizen. I'm Prawn Dama, the mindless cult drone. No, no, no. Though the cult loves that you would sacrifice a precious part of you, like your mind, for the greater good, we need you to focus on what the cult gives. Next, tell us what inspires you about us. What inspires you about the cult? What well, made you want to spread the word about beloved Traven in the first place? When I saw the together togetherness, how inclusive it was to be to cult believers only. At a party one time, Traven dragged me into the back and whipped out his penis. I had to spread the word or else. Jesus. I'm gonna go with number two. My mind, you've seen Mr. Traven's legacy. You're truly blessed. Wow, yeah, that's gonna be a good commercial. Now, do you think that given an unsanctioned term of cult of symbiote to replace symbiote regulators is fair? Does it not make the cult sound too spooky? It is unfair. The cult of symbiote should go by its old name, the symbiote regulators. I think everyone should use Skylight Symbiote how they want, when they want. No, no. So basically every bottom one is the wrong thing to say, and I'm just going to keep saying the wrong things. How do you feel about the cult's involvement with its presence and influence in the educational system? We need cult influence and education to prevent another northern burning. Shit, why should my kids need to be free thinking when they're adults? Language, please, language. Can't just imply that cult isn't free thinking, it's a cult. Now, last question. How can the cult of symbiote effectively spread its word to all of Canada? Film cult members having sex with animals, that shit will go viral. You'd have to be insane to think I'm not gonna pick that. Hmm, sounds outlandish. Something must something to mull over all, all the same. Well, that's a wrap. Oh, it's good. Ha ha ha. Oh god, that was so good. Did you see the look on the director's face when he tore up his propaganda experiment? Ha ha. Well, I'll never hear the end of this from my mom, but I'd say it was worth it. 800 experience in the CP. Holy crap, that was the easiest mission. It was like a full level. 1,000 CP is level. Just gonna click. I keep saying catch that area. Alright. Saving the game again. I apologize. Going off the screen. Okay. Thanks. So, that's where I need to go. There's the little marker. The Bastion of Knowledge. I need to go to the Storage of Wisdom. I don't know where that is, though. Maybe it's in this town? I don't know. We'll find out. First, I'm going to go over here. It's waving in the wind. Scarface, you bastard. See what's that? What's that?
Looks like we got some people going into the Spectre facility. The cult set up. So, there's probably cult members going in. That's generally what cult members do with cult buildings. Smart ass. I bet their movements, their actions, they act like the way we did when we infiltrated places, huh? Think there's a secret group going against the cult? One that isn't like the Sanduin? Only one way to find out. We tail them. Okay. Alright, I don't want to get too far into this mission. I played for about an hour. I'm going to put the game down for now. And I will hopefully, maybe tomorrow, get in part 3, play for another hour. This game is very difficult. It's just a hard game to play. It's a hard game to invest any time into, so you have to forgive me not wanting to play more than an hour at a time, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time for part three.